Hello, good day everyone. This is Mom Teen. Welcome back to my channel. So today we will be discussing about limiting reactants. So when there is not enough of one reactant in a chemical reaction, the reaction stops abruptly. Now to figure out the amount of product produced, it must be determined what reactant will limit the chem chemical reaction and that is what that is what we call the limiting reagent and which reactant is in excess or considered to be our excess reagent. So one way of finding the limiting reagent is by calculating the amount of product that can be formed by each reactant. So the one that produces the less, less product is considered to be our limiting reagent. So given the example, okay, we have nitric oxide reacts with oxygen, to form nitrogen dioxide, which is considered to be a dark brown gas. So given the equation, so the equation is already balanced given two moles of nitric oxide reacts with one mole of oxygen gas yields two moles of nitrogen dioxide. Now in one experiment, we have 0.866 mole of NO reacts with or mixed with 0 0.503 moles of O2. The question is, determine the limiting reagent and calculate the number of moles of NO2 produced. Okay, here we go. So, in order to get the amount of NO2 produced, we need to use the moles of NO and O2. Okay, first, let's get, so moles of NO2 is equal to Okay, we will be using first the given mole of nitric oxide. We have 0.866 moles of NO times, okay, the balanced equation. So we have in every two moles of NO, okay, we have two moles also of NO2 produced. So if this is the case, the given data are in number of moles, so it's easy to solve. So, cancel out mole of NO, mole of NO. So, cancel. We have 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, therefore, we have 0.866 moles of NO2. Now, how about if we're going to use mole of oxygen gas? So, mole of NO2 is equal to, we have 0.503 moles of O2 times, okay, the balanced equation, in every one mole of oxygen gas, we have two moles of NO2 produced. So, cancel out. So, what is 0 0.503 times 2? So, we have 1.006 moles of NO2. Now, going back to the definition of the limiting reagent, so the substance, okay, the one that produces the less product is our limiting reagent. So given these two um, moles of the product, we have 0.866 mole of NO2 as, as our less product produced. Therefore, question letter A, what is our limiting reagent? So our answer will be nitric oxide. Okay, NO because NO produces the less or the least amount of product produced. Now, how many moles? Question letter B, how many moles of NO2 produced? So, our answer is 0.866 mole. So, the amount of NO2 produced is based on the given mole of the limiting reagent, which is the nitric oxide. Okay? Now, another example when lead to nitrate reacts with sodium iodide, sodium nitrate and lead to iodide are formed. Now, first step is to balance the equation. So we have lead to nitrate reacts with sodium iodide, yields lead to iodide and sodium nitrate. Now, in balancing the equation, we will consider the polyatomic ion as one unit. So we have two units of nitrate in the reactant. So we will try to multiply this one by two in the product. Okay, so we have two units of NO3 now in the product. Now observe Na or sodium. We have two atoms of sodium. So let's try to write here two to balance the sodium atom. 
Now, evaluate the iodine atom. So, we have 2. In the product, we have also 2. So, coefficients are 1, 2, 1, 2. Now, if we will start with 25 grams, okay, of lead to nitrate and we have 15 grams of sodium iodide, how many grams of sodium nitrate can be formed? So, you are asked to solve for the mass of sodium nitrate given the masses of the reactants, lead to nitrate and sodium iodide. So, what is the limiting reagent in the reaction described in Problem number two, and how many grams of lead to iodide another product is formed? So, how much of the non-limiting reagent will be left over from the reaction in problem two? So, when we say non-limiting reagent, we are talking with our excess reactant or excess reagent. So, let's proceed with the calculations. So, as I've said, always start with balancing equations. So, the coefficients are 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, 1, 2, 1, 2. Now, let's solve first the amount of sodium nitrate produced using the mass of lead to nitrate. Okay, so mass of NaNO3 is equal to, we have 25.0 grams of lead to nitrate times Okay, in one mole, okay, of lead to nitrate, how many grams or what is the molar mass? So, what is the molar mass? So, in getting the molar mass, we need to consider this one. So, lead to nitrate. So, we will get the number of moles or number of atoms of element times their atomic masses and then add all the atomic masses of every element. So, lead. Okay, atomic mass. So, atomic mass of lead is 207. So, we have only one atom of lead. So, we have 1 times atomic mass 207. Then, nitrogen distribute 2 to nitrogen. We have 2 times atomic mass 14. Oxygen, we have 3 times atomic, uh, I mean 6. Okay, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times atomic mass 16. So, we have... Add all the multiply first, then add all the masses of every element. So we have 207. Okay. Then what is 2 times 14? We have 28. So plus 28. Then what is 6 times 16? Is we have 96. So therefore, a total mass of 331 grams of lead to nitrate. Times. Okay, the balance equation. Okay, the balance equation. So, we have in every one mole of lead to nitrate, <clears throat> okay, we have two moles of sodium nitrate produced times, okay, in every, okay, in every one mole of sodium nitrate, so what is its formula mass? So, same with this lead to nitrate, so NaNO3. Sodium, we have one atom of sodium times 23. Nitrogen is one atom times 14. Oxygen, three atoms times 16. So 23 plus 14 plus 48. So we have 23 plus 14 plus 48. The answer is 85. 85 grams of NaNO3. Now this, the next step is to cancel out same unit. Until such time, mass of NO, NaNO3 is left. So multiply all the numerators and divide it with the denominator. So 25 times 2 times 85 divided by 331. So the mass of sodium nitrate produced is 12.84 grams of NaNO3 using the mass of lead to nitrate. Now, how about the mass of sodium nitrate using the mass of sodium iodide? So, we have 15.0 grams of sodium iodide times same concept. So, instead of lead to nitrate, we will just change this one into sodium iodide. Now, in one mole of sodium iodide, so we need to get the uh, formula mass of sodium iodide. So, what is the atomic mass of iodine? So, the atomic mass of iodine is 127. So, 
N A I. So we have N A one times twenty three iodine. We have one atom of iodine times hundred twenty seven. So let's add hundred twenty seven plus twenty three. So in every one mole of sodium iodide, we have hundred fifty grams of sodium iodide. Times k okay, the balanced equation. We have two moles of N A I sodium iodide. K is needed to form two moles of sodium nitrate. Times copy the last equation. So in one mole of sodium nitrate, K we have eighty five grams of sodium nitrate. Now the next step is to cancel out same unit. So we have mass of sodium nitrate. K grams of NaI, mole of NaI, mole of NaNO3. So therefore, what is left is the mass of NaNO3. So we have 15 times 2 times 85 divided by, okay, we have 150 times 2. So that's 300 divided by 300. Therefore, our answer is 8.5 grams of NaNO3. Now, going back to our definition of the limiting reagent, so the one that produces less product is the limiting reagent. So given uh, two amounts of NaNO3 produced, so therefore our limiting reagent is sodium iodide. So NaI is our limiting reagent. So first question is, what is the limiting reagent? Our answer is sodium iodide. Okay, this is our limiting reagent. Now, how many grams? The second question is, how many grams of sodium nitrate is formed? So, our answer is 8.5 grams of sodium nitrate. So, the amount of the product formed is based on our limiting reagent. So, 8.5 grams of sodium nitrate produced. Now, another... Um, Question is, how many grams of lead to iodide is formed? So in order to get the mass of lead to iodide, we need to use the mass of our limiting reagent. So mass of lead to iodide is equal to, okay, now use the mass of the limiting reagent. So we have 15.0 grams of sodium iodide times, okay, in one mole, okay, of sodium iodide, we have 150 grams of sodium iodide. Okay, take note, times, okay, balanced equation, we have two moles of sodium iodide is needed to produce one mole of lead to iodide. Times, okay, next, we have in one mole of lead to iodide, so, what is its formula mass? So, lead again. Okay, lead is 1 times 207. Iodine, we have two atoms of iodine times uh, iodine actually is 127. Okay, 127. So, therefore, 207, uh, 127 times 2. We have 254 plus 207. So, 461 grams of lead to iodide. Okay, lead to iodide. Now, let's check. So, cancel out same unit. So, we have uh, grams of NAI, mole of NAI, mole of PBI2. So, therefore, we have mass of lead to iodide form. So, 15 times 461. Okay, divide it by 300. So, 15. Okay, wait a minute. Times uh, 461 divided by 300. Therefore, we have 23.05 grams of lead to iodide form. Okay, this one is 23.05 grams of lead to iodide. So given our limiting reagent, sodium iodide, the amount of lead to iodide form is 23.05 and the amount of sodium nitrate form is 